What's up YouTube and all my tiny house friends out there? Uh, thank you guys for visiting my channel. My name is Adam and I just want to make this really fast video uh, going over the six biggest ways that you can save money on your tiny house. So number one of course is build it yourself. Okay, When you build your house yourself you're going to save tons and tons of money on labor. You don't have to hire plumbers, electricians, framers, drywallers, uh, you know, all that, all those people that would charge you tons of money, you don't have to pay them. Uh, you will have to put in lots of sweat equity, of course. Um, but the other good thing about that is that whenever anything breaks in your house, or um, let's say if you wanted to build more tiny houses in the future, you already have all the skills to do that. You can maintain everything, and you can build more structures in the future. Okay, so that's number one. Build it yourself. Number two, you want to leverage your social network. Uh, lots of stuff I got in my tiny house I got for free, like my countertops, uh, for instance, my couch I got for free, uh, my surround sound system I basically got for free, and that was because uh, my friends thought what I was doing was cool, and they just basically donated to my project. So uh, leverage your social network. Also, if you know plumbers and electricians and people that do that kind of work, stuff that you don't want to do necessarily, or you're unsure of how to do, you can have your friends come over, they can show you what to do, and you can do the rest of the work on the house yourself. So um, number two, leverage your social network, that's a huge one. Number three, kind of goes along with that, um, and what you're doing right now is, you know, going on YouTube, going on the internet, you can find tons and tons of information. You can literally find all the information you need, basically for free how to do everything that you want to do. Um, you know, if you can't find what you want to do to learn something on the internet, it's basically out of pure laziness these days because if you want to learn how to do something, you can find out how to do it on the internet, plain and simple. Number four is Craigslist and other, you know, restores like Habitat for Humanity, things like that. These are going to be amazing, amazing resources for you. Um, you know, let me see my sliding glass door I got here for a hundred bucks in awesome condition. My four foot by eight foot window I got here for a hundred bucks. Uh, I'm sorry, I got, I got that window and my uh, shower stall together for $150. I got my really beautiful crescent window, uh, brand new essentially, off of Craigslist for 60 bucks. And if you guys can see the two long windows I have up in my loft, very unique windows, exactly what I needed. I got those for 20 bucks a piece. On Craigslist so you know and my floor as well I got that for $90 on Craigslist awesome condition hardwood floors so you know make sure you guys are checking out Craigslist for for your really expensive items like that you're gonna save tons of money number five uh, kind of goes along with this and that is construction sites so you know uh, big construction sites maybe where they're building uh, new houses you know when new neighborhoods are going up um, also, big things like malls, schools, prisons, um, shopping centers, anything like that uh, that has lots of construction material is going to have lots of construction waste. So, you know, and I'm not talking about trash, I'm talking about quality brand new materials 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x8s, 2x10s, plywood, OSB, Orient Strand Board is OSB. Um, they got all this brand new stuff they're just throwing away and if you go and talk to the foremans you can a lot of times get the stuff for free so if you're diligent and you go around to all the construction sites in your area you can get lots and lots of stuff for free so that's number five number six and this is going to be a really big way is to take advice from people that have already done it so if you can actually talk to someone who has built a tiny house themselves already and you know kind of seek their advice and and see what kind of tips they have to offer that is going to be a huge way to save money um, because you know if you talk to someone who's built it themselves or built their own tiny house they will have made tons and tons of mistakes that you can learn from uh, myself i know if uh, there's a couple of mistakes that i made that if i had known i could have saved probably close to two to three thousand dollars so I'm kind of going along those lines. Uh, I just want to help you guys out because I've written an ebook called How to Build Yourself a Tiny House on Wheels, even if you're a broke 25 year old. And it's on a Kindle right now. I'll leave a link down in the description box. And it basically lines it out step by step exactly what you need to do from you know buying a trailer, going through the framing, plumbing, electrical, insulation 
finishing touches, everything that you need to know about how to build yourself a tiny house on wheels. And like I said, you can learn from my mistakes and save yourself lots of headaches, lots of time, frustration, and hopefully save yourself lots of money. So if that is something that you are interested in, go ahead and check that link out. Go, go uh, check that book out. If you want more videos like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.